everybody i'm going to teach you some fun tips and tricks about dragon ball sparking zero very simple game in my opinion because i've played a lot of it now i want to point something out indefinitely i would be z rank if people didn't keep rage quitting i get nothing for their quits i would appreciate they didn't i will show you my rank right now in dp battle mode i'm s3 and on single battle mode i'm s5 people keep leaving if you saw my video where I won for five hours straight in DP battle mode, you'll discover that people keep leaving. Before we begin our journey, first thing I want you to do just immediately off the rip is go to your options. Go to your options, go to your controls, and figure out how you like to play better. If you're good at rotating, then you need to put this on classic. If you're good at clicking a button real fast like X, I need you to put it on standard. I prefer using standard controls because they haven't fixed the controller bug and I can switch with standard controls, but I like playing on the cat, cat classic set because I'm Budokai Tenkaichi 3 player. Now with that being out the way, let's switch over to another scene. I'm going to point out a first tip to show you just to get it out the way, just to make you feel a bit better about this video so you can understand what I mean by tips and tricks. I'm not going to teach you, oh, well, if you, if you do this, you do it. No, no, I'm going to teach you some stuff to get past the cheese. To get past the stuff that makes you agitated in the game is what I'm going to teach you. So, let's say you're going against a big nasty android and you're messed up. You don't really know how to feel about it. You're having a bad time. They keep dragging you and false couraging you. Well, you get a few seconds to breathe and you got a character that has instant sparking and you're having a great time. Picking character that has instant sparking, very good to do. That's what I would do personally. So let's say you have somebody that can do instant sparking. So, or let's say you're just charging up and you have a chance to breathe and get into sparking. This is what I would do indefinitely. Now then, spam this. Just spam this. Wait, but, but androids can absorb. No. No, you can get behind them because they're stuck in that absorption phase. Do this. Spam Key Blast. Key Blasts are your best friend. People aren't using Key Blasts as effectively or efficiently as they should be, which is messed up. So, let's say you're fighting against somebody, and they're rushing you down, and they're using that little back move, the back shots indefinitely. You're getting hit by back shots all the time. You're like, oh my goodness, they keep hitting me with back shots. I'm getting annihilated. I, I keep getting destroyed by this move, and they're all oh, they're rushing me with back shots. Oh, this is horrible. They get annihilated, and I hate that. I need you to click. I, I need you to, to listen to me with my whole chest. And I mean this, I really do. You getting hit by those back shots is your fault. There is an indefinite way to counter that. To counter the back shot stuff, I'm gonna put them on super. To counter the back shot stuff, you can just counter it. You can just counter it. You can just counter most of the back shot stuff. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let him get some uh, bunch of hits on me. You can just counter all the back shot stuff. There's so much ways to do it. Now I don't know what it is on the other thing. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna play a defensive strategy. I'm gonna wait a second. You see how we're both looking at each other like friends? You can just counter it. You can just counter it. You can, you can just get out the way and counter it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him do that. That's, that's just perception blocking right there. That's, you can just counter. Get used to countering. Get used to countering. If you get used to these counters in these Sonic's ways, which is guarding and then pressing, pressing your. Whatever your counter button is, whatever puts you into perception mode, a classic curl just for me is like B and Y on Xbox, circle and triangle on PlayStation. This is what it will do. You, you just guard. You can just guard. You can just guard. And if someone's guarding too much, if someone's guarding too much, you can go around them. You can go around them if they're guarding too much, actually. If they're guarding too much, like this person, right? let's say they're guarding too much, right? Let's see, oh man, they're guarding too much. I can't get past that. The guard's too much. Oh, the guard's too much. I can't I can't get past that. A simple sway around. A simple sway around will stop it. A simple sway around. You do two sways to the right, such as this. One, two, three, boom. You can sway around. You sway around and get them there. You got them. Now I know what you're thinking. That wasn't that clean. You didn't do it correctly. Hopefully the strategy in itself will teach you how to do it. Getting around them. Because if they're blocking right here. They don't block right here. If they're blocking right here, they're not blocking right here. Sorry, I apologize. They're not blocking right here. That's the back. Blocking here, they're not blocking here. You can just move around them. You can just move around them. See that? Move around them. See that? Move around them. Got it? Move around them. That's a great way to do it. Now, a few things I'm discovering about people is that you, if you are in a punch clash, like a punch clash, be the first person to use your combo. Use the first person to do this move. I don't know what it's called. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know the technical names of everything. Be the first person to do that. Just be the first person to do that. 
the first person to do that and you'll be able to stop the hand countering immediately as soon as you do it that's why characters that punch faster get it out faster now then this block if you're looking to block the down move like this one like that block low if you're looking to block this one block low if you're looking to block the kick brush move the kicks you'll see one two that move that's a block up this is a block up now you're probably wondering how did you learn all this technical information how did you learn all these skills well i'll show you that in a minute the reason i want you to learn this beam spam right here this little thing right here this little beam spam where i tell you to keep using key blasts and spam them i'll show you in a hot second because it's a very important reason you see you're going to be going against giant characters right a bunch of giant characters will indefinitely ruin your week, ruin your day, make you want to quit the game, make you want to pick up giant characters and be like, I'm just going to join them because they're nonsensical. I was one of the first people to play giant characters because everybody kept saying giant characters suck. During the beta, people were not picking giant characters. They kept saying, oh, giant characters suck. They're not good. The reason I want you to pick giant characters, or at least the reason I want you to learn the key blast spam is because giant characters are stuck. Giant characters are stucco. Get above them. Just get above them. Just get above them. Giant characters are stuck. They're going to keep guarding. But if you just keep spamming them with these key blasts, they are stuck indefinitely. They were stuck. They have to guard because the key blast in sparking mode will, will stun them. They can't do anything against this. They cannot do anything against this. You can just do that. If you just do that, every move they do, it doesn't matter if they're doing that little rush spam move they do, this will stop them. They have to react to this. They're stuck in the guard phase. And if you have an unblockable, they're stuck to get hit by that unblockable. Now, naturally, you know, things that don't work against giant characters. Obviously, grabbing. You can't grab them. You cannot grab a giant character. Sadly, my grab command is messing up, and I'm going to try to fix that. You can't grab giant characters. That's a messed up thing right there. But... What you can do against giant characters is get them mixed around. Let's say you have a character that can actually stun them and stuff like that, right? You can indefinitely hit giant characters with guard breaks. Giant characters can block up and down, but they can't perception counter. They can't do it. Understanding that they can't perception counter is very important. That's very good. That's important to do. Understanding the fact that they cannot perception counter. That's good. Now, naturally, I would show you how to do it against the person, but waiting for an online match right now is hellish. And learn and having that whole thing happen is insane. So here's what I'm gonna do and show you where I've learned all these tips and tricks. Go to super training, go to battle training, go right here. This is very important. This is the most important part of the video. If you watch nothing else in the video, if you learn nothing else in this entire video, this right here is the most important. Go to select trading type and then go to the just go to find where it says character move info this tells you everything about each character it tells you how to go against giant characters right here with an explanation it tells you it tells you how to do get past unguardable attacks it tells you it tells you how to go against artificial light forms it tells you it tells you blast and unique character traits it tells you everything it tells you all the stuff and if you're curious, well, I don't know how to get past guards. I don't, I don't, I'm so, I don't know how to get past guards. Guards are so difficult. They're one of the hardest things to do. Well, everything here is taught very easily. If you find counters and you go to throw evasion, this is very fun. Watch this. It's telling you that when you get grabbed by an android, you can just click B and get out of it. If you get grabbed by an android, even if they're mid animation, I apologize. In the first frame of the animation, you can get out of it. First frame of the animation, just before it starts up. See how it went right into the animation a little bit? See how it went right into the animation a little bit? How I switched right there that really fast? You can do it before that animation just by mashing B. Look at me mashing B. Look at that. Look at me mashing the guard button. I'm mashing it. I'm mashing it. And it doesn't even go into it, but if you do it just before, you have a, a small window frame. I believe it's within the first few frames you have it. Just when you see that, you'll notice their body goes slightly limp. It's a slight limp motion. Slight limp. You can do it right there. You just got to have good reaction time. If you have good reaction time, it's not that difficult. You can do that. I'm so proud of you. I say learning this, learning techniques, learning the small little things like that is actually very important. Now, other things you're going to learn as combos go out, you're going to learn if you go to special training, it's going to help you out indefinitely. It really is. It's going to change your entire life. 
And after you learn all these techniques, after you learn everything, you'll be going on a rank and saying to yourself, wow, I'm super excited. I know what to do. I'm also learning one thing about DP battle mode for a lot of people. They're picking teams of three or four and they're getting mad. They're getting time scammed. Pick two really good characters and fill out your team with nonsense. I, when I, I mean this so deeply. Let's say you want to you wanna get a five character, right? You got Super Goku, you got Frieza, you got a good variety. You could pick both the Broly's and get a team of five, realistically. You could do that. You get a both the Broly's and pick a team of five. Or let's say, well, my favorite character is a six. Or your favorite character is a six. Well, you can still pick the six. Let's say your favorite character for some reason is my favorite character, this guy. You can still pick the six. You want to pick Kefla? You can still get a team of, you can get a whole team with Kefla. You can do that. Well, my favorite character is a seven. I can't help you. I'm sorry. I can't help you. You've gone too far. You've used too much DP. You have to be able to balance out your team and use them in a way that's effective in a good strategy. Let's say you want to pick this team right here, right? You want to get these boys. You want to get these boys, but you can't use Krillin, so you got to find somebody to replace Krillin. So you're gonna have to. You, you don't want to pick Azrobi because you don't want to. You don't want to be spammy. You don't want to be like, oh, I'm not gonna do the, the resort to using Azrobi. So pick Fidel. Now you have a team of five. You have a good team of five right here. You got an efficient team. Let's test it online. For the sake of argument, let's test it online. Let's see if I can secure a singular win, and we'll see if I can do it with Z Broly Cell. Z Broly and Cell, two good choices to me. I, I think Z Broly and Cell are two pretty good picks. But I want to play with Ultra Instinct Goku. Go to single battle then. Go to single battle. Get off DP. DP battle is a mode that rewards people for learning characters that nobody picks. DP battle is a mode that teaches you how to balance how much a character is worth and teaches you how to do things. So let's say you got Broly, you got Cell, and you're going against a Bardizis. Going against Bardizis, right? And this person sees Broly, he's thinking to himself, oh, he's probably got, you know, nonsense like that. He doesn't even have anything in that capacity. He doesn't have a whole full team. 100%. 100%. I agree to that. I 100% agree to that. So let's say this. Let's say he's got he's got a Bardock and he's fighting against me, but I got a pretty good team. So I got a character I can actually play as, which is Broly. I'm actually pretty okay with Broly. And I say okay as a realistic sense. Notice how I instinctively guarded down when he went down because you got to get used to getting reaction times down. And while he's attacking, I'm doing that. I'm playing pretty defensively because I'm ready for him. Boom. And he guarded. He guarded. Now when he's like that, you got to mash buttons to get out of that. You have to mash. Now then, he blocked this. Hopefully he blocked this. I'm praying he blocked it. He didn't block it. He didn't block it. You hate to see it. That is not an unguardable. I just did that as a free thing for me. I'm going to go into Super Saiyan because I love this Super Saiyan form. I like the blue Super Saiyan hair. And this is pretty good. Now I've increased my DP ranking and, and, and I just increased it. I increased. I'm hitting him with Trap Shooter. I didn't work. Trap Shooter is a bad move. Not going to lie to you. And boom. When you're in, you see how I just did that guard right there? That's what I mean. That's what I mean. Learn that guard. I believe I was mashing guard when I did that. The reason I'm doing that and also doing this move right there is so I can get some more DP, get some more health. Or See right there? That little counter move. It's either up in the attack button. I'm pretty sure it's up in the attack button. But that move where you, huh, that, that's a great move to do. This Broly is also a good character indefinitely against giants, against anybody, against all kinds of people. He's just a good character to play ass. Now you see how I got hit by that grab? That's because I didn't react fast enough to the limp. I didn't react fast enough to the limp. Now then, this is an unguardable. And it missed. It has horrible tracking. I'm going to stop right there. See right there how I'm getting him down? He's going to try to use his super technique maybe. See that? Because he's brain dead. Because he's brain dead. And I'm proud of him. I'm proud of him for doing that. All that does is just break my... It just breaks my perception of him and makes him lose a round. Broly's a great character to use. He's fun. He's great to use. He's amazing. I kind of want to let him switch realistically. There we go. That's what I like to see. Now then, you see that? You see that? How the See how I can just stop that android? You see how he has the android? You see how I just caught him in that? You see that? That's amazing, isn't it? Isn't that fun? You see that? You see how I caught him in there? How he's stuck in that little animation? You see how the androids aren't a big deal? Because false courage doesn't work against Broly. You see that? You see how he's gotten hit by this because he can't get past my super armor? You see how the androids aren't really a big deal? They're not. They're not that big of a deal. I'm starting off with Broly. I'm going crazy on him. Broly's a bigger issue than the androids because people are relying on this little grab tech. That grab tech is worthless. They're going to spend their entire match trying to do this weird little stupid grab tech for no reason. I don't understand that. That's dumb. That's a stupid move to do. That's just dumb. I don't understand how the androids are even good at the game. 
why why are people struggling against androids i will never know i will never know why people are struggling against androids i really don't look at him he got it off he's so proud of himself he's saying oh yeah he can get hit by that now yeah now i got him in a loop now i got him in a loop it, androids aren't that bad i got hit by both of those to show you that this is what you guys get hit by that's what i did also because i wanted to play it so now then it is okay to struggle against androids i'm not saying it's impossible to struggle against androids i'm not saying oh man just, he, he's talking so much mess he doesn't know how hard it is to go against androids it's not incredibly difficult but i do know the annoyance of dealing with an android i do know what it's like you see that though you see me getting out of that you see me getting out of that you see me getting out of that nonsense that they keep doing and i'm gonna transform into a much more annoying form i'm gonna i'm gonna get a little bit annoying with them too this form is way worse but because he's a bio life mech because he's not a bio life creature i can't do it i can't do it and people are going to get messed up by the android grab a lot you can also just do that also a great technique and strategy that's all android players know how to do is grab that's it all they know how to do is grab that's all they got on them that's it and that's the entire match with android players they just know how to grab that's it i'm, I'm continually doing it to show you that you can just get out of it by grabbing it's just grabbing that's it that's that's all that's all they have in their entire repertoire is just their ability to grab they have nothing else they can't charge they can't do anything like that they can't they, they, they're not fun to play either they have nothing else inside of their soul besides grabbing hey it's master Roshi go ahead look at that boom look at him go look at him go look at him go He's so good at the game, too. He's so amazing. He's so fantastic at the game. Most Android players given up on the ability to actually play the game. They just don't care about it. They just want to do... They just want to grab. And as you can see, he's, he's losing this battle of attrition, which is very sad. He's not really doing good in this battle of attrition. I would like for you to switch your character, though. Go ahead, switch. Go ahead and switch. I know you want to. Go ahead, switch. I know you want to. There we go. That's what I like to see. He's fast with the switch. He's fast with it. He's so fast with the switch. See how fast he is with the switch? See how he's thinking he's playing an Android because he went right to the grabs? He's so good with it. He's so fun. He's so fun. And because he's picking a BioLife character, I might just switch to Cell just to mess him up. And it's the reason why I run Cell on most teams. It's simply by virtue of he's a better Android indefinitely. If you want to actually absorb people and use absorption techniques, he's just better overall. He just is more fun to play. That didn't work? Dang. You see how he punched out of the, a solar flare? Punching out of a solar flare is hard. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's impressive. It is also just learning the mechanics of the game is a big contributing factor of why I'm even good at the game. Now you see this punch rush? You see this punch rush? See how I didn't get out of it? You see how I just got hit by this technique right here? You see this? You see this right here? You see how it makes you not be able to see them for a second? You see that? Oh, he has he has Kid Goku. He has Daima Goku. Oh my goodness! This is a great character. Look at him go. Look at him going great. Learning these tips and tricks indefinitely is going to help you out overall. It's just going to help you out. I know I'm not seeming like I'm doing that great simply because oh my goodness I'm getting my butt whipped right now. This is horrible, and that's fair. That's understandable. As a matter of fact, you want to click on this video? Don't trust me. Do what you got to do. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. You do that. You you just don't trust me. I'm so proud of you. But if you want to stop losing these matches, if you want to go against these spammy characters, if you want to go against this nonsense. You got it. You gotta. You gotta learn the game. You gotta learn how the game works. You gotta learn how it operates. If you don't learn how the game operates, you're gonna be suffering as if I am right here. Now you're probably wondering why I'm getting my butt whipped right now. Because I am. The person has higher technical skill than me. Pyre has, has a higher technical skill, skill building. And that's amazing. I'm proud of him. I'm always excited. Now, this is also a tip. I want to point this out that I'm losing on purpose, by the way. This is also a tip. Don't quit the match. Even if you're losing. The person deserves the win. Even if they're playing Androids, all this nonsense. My goal was to show you how to do tips and tricks. I'm willing to take this loss. You're probably saying to yourself, wait a minute, it's, you're, you're, you're just mad because you're losing. You're just doing that wrong again. Wrong again. This is completely on purpose. I spent through this entire match losing on purpose simply to show you fun little tips and tricks. I'm wasting my rank just to show you how to play the game. That's what I'm doing. I'm showing you how to play the game. That's what I'm doing. 
That is my entire goal, is to teach you how to be more technically good at the game. That's what I want you to do. Now, you could just pick a giant character, pick two giant characters and get them out the way and just annihilate them. You could do that. You could realistically do that. Now then, you want to see me actually play the game? Here we go. Observe this, if you will. Go ahead and accept that match back. Go ahead and run that back, man. Go ahead. I want you to. Go ahead. If he doesn't accept this back, sadly, he might not. He doesn't want to. He probably could tell that I was just goofing around and joking around. But in general, what you're going to want to do, right, is get good team setup composition. You can pick two fives. You can pick two fives and actually do great. You can do that. You can have fun. You can you can have fun. You can pick two fives. You can have a good team composition of DP. You can do that. Now, what I do, I pick three fours. I pick a person like Vegeta, right? I pick a Vegeta. I get a whole Vegeta out here, right? After I get that Vegeta, I get that Wheelow out here. Wheelow going crazy because Wheelow's a good giant. Giants can't get hit by androids. That's the whole thing. Androids get countered immediately by giants. They cannot be grabbed. I just want to point that out. And then I get Bardizius. Bardock, one of the greatest characters in the game. And then you're probably wondering, who do I close this out with? I'm not picking Yajirobe. That's ridiculous. I'm going to go ahead and pick this boy right here. That's how I run my team. This is the team that won me so many matches. This is the team that won me five hours in a row of just winning and annihilating people on DP battle mode. This is the one. This is the team that I run. Good team composition. Starts off with that absolute nonsense it starts off with absolute gobbledygook and garbage that's how the team operates that's how it runs and functions you need to spend some time in the lab and believe in yourself you need to spend some time actually looking at yourself and saying what do i suck at why do i keep getting hit by things am i losing because of this am i losing because of that because you're going to encounter people that are better than you but if you rage quit if you leave, you don't allow them to do that. Notice how I didn't rage quit. The reason I'm saying this is because I'm noticing a lot of you guys are rage quitting. As a matter of fact, even during your player matches against me, when you're going against me, you'll leave the match. When you challenge me one-on-ones and say you can beat me, you'll leave the match. Don't leave the match. Stop doing that. Stop saying to me, oh, I can beat you, bro. Dude, you're not that hard, bro. Bro, pop off. And then leaving the match. Disrespectful. Disgusting. Trife, don't do that. We found an opponent. I'm gonna show you how a usual math goes for me, and I'm actually gonna tee up and make you guys realize what it means to play DP battle mode and what it means to actually be on this mode. No androids, but a giant character, so it's still a bit spammy. As you can see here, we got ourselves a little bit of a Vegeta right here, and this is gonna be a great showing of how to go against giants. I showed you how to go against androids by stopping the blocking and things of that variety, and I'm gonna show you how to go against a giant character because now we actually have a giant character by somebody else. So we're gonna see how he operates and how he place so naturally i'm starting off immediately with the beam go ahead and get hit by this man now then he's immediately going to try to rush me we love to see it look at him go see how i'm under him boom you see how i'm under him you see how he's gonna he's gonna rush me now boom that's good now we gotta stay close to him he can't rush me again he cannot rush me again you see that and he's good he's not bad look at him go you see that however i'm under his legs look how i'm under his legs you see how I'm under his legs? You see how he hit me with that grab? That's good. He's going to toss me, and that's amazing. Now then, that's just how to get past giants. Now, a giant v. giant battle, which you may encounter, is going to look something like this. Boom. You want to make sure you get the... Remember when I said when you do a, 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 a fist clash? You want to be able to do that first. That's what you're going to want to look for. And then, hit him with this. Boom. See that damage I just did? You're going to want to be able to get the fist clash first. He's breaking out of it, which is really good. I'm proud of him. He's doing great. He's doing fantastic. Sadly, I'm good with the character. See that? We're both countering each other. It looks like a big kaiju battle, like two babies fighting against each other. And it doesn't work all the time. You're going to want to hit him with some nonsense. You're going to want to be able to get him with that, that, that nonsense. You're going to want to find your opening. Because if you can't find your opening, notice how I'm staying on him. If you get a character that's faster, you're going to be able to stay on Giants a lot better. A character that's faster is going to work a lot better. I'm going to go ahead and hit him with this. Boom. That does damage. Notice how I'm staying ahead in the health lead? That's how I operate. You see how we're clashing? He didn't do the move first. He should have did it first. He's, he's running a long key. He should have done the, the move first. See that? See how I'm doing it first before him? That's how it operates. Now I'm going to have some space, and he's getting back with that. He doesn't want to allow me. That's good. He's showing you how to stay close up on giant characters. He got the move first. That's good. And then boom, he got the move first. That's good. See that? He's doing fantastic against a giant character. And I love to see that. He's doing amazing. He's doing phenomenal. He's going to kick me right now. Boom. See that? He didn't kick me. 
get that out the way. I got I got him to stop. And he's gonna try to he's gonna try to switch out because he doesn't want to lose Vegeta. Hopefully he tries to switch out because he doesn't want to lose Vegeta. Hopefully he doesn't want to lose Vegeta, actually. Or maybe he's just allowing this match to go through. Maybe he's just allowing this to happen because he is respecting my boundaries. He's respecting me as a person. And sometimes you'll get moments like that where you get somebody that doesn't want to switch out and respects you as a human being. And we love to see it. And you can block with a giant. You can just get that out the way. You see how he's going? You see how he's believing in himself? And we love to see it. And that's how you win a giant clash. He was a very good giant player. A very good one. I'm going to switch back to Master Roshi because now we're going to have a battle of wits. A battle of skill. We're going to have a battle of how this should go. Now, he, I know he's at least 5 DP down. And that's amazing. This is a person that actually understands the fundamentals of the game. And I appreciate that. You see how he's getting me with combos and stuff like that. And I hit him with a Sonic Sway. This is a good back and forth. And I'm going to power down from Roshi because this Roshi starts off with a little bit more health. I'm going to go into after image strike and I'm going to go crazy like that. This is 15 seconds of nothing but repeat things. See how he's key blast spamming me against after image strike? That's how you deal with after image strike. You key blast spam. You run some key blast. We both have after image strike. We're both going to and fro back and forth. And I just did it again because he's out of his, but I still have mine. You just want to hit him with some key blast. We're going to run that back. Boom, bang, boom. Bang, bang, bang. And I'm still stuck in that. Boom. This is a battle. This is a match. I'm not clicking much. It looks impressive. It looks super impressive, but it's not. This is an unblockable. He should move out the way. Sadly, he didn't get the chance to. I saw him guarding. You saw him guarding. This is an unblockable technique. And that's why Master Roshi is a good bottom dollar pick. By put, putting a bottom dollar pick on your team. If you don't know what I mean by bottom dollar pick, I, I mean a character that is just your bottom dollar. Hopefully, he doesn't leave the match. I would appreciate it if he didn't leave the match because we're having a really fun match. And I'm really enjoying this right now. I'm having a good time right now. It's rare that I have such a good time playing against somebody. It's so fun. It's so fun to play against somebody that is actually technically good at the game like it's on a technical skill level he's fun he's great he feels powerful it's fun to have against him hopefully he can just stay in the game and doesn't actively get messed up with this we're going blow for blow body for body and it's fun see how he goes you see how i'm, I'm getting out of things i'm so proud of him he's so good this, this is this is bringing joy to my spirit right now. I'm going into false courage. I'm going into false courage again. Why did I do that? Because I felt like it. I just wanted to, and I also misclicked. I just misclicked. I ain't going to lie to you. I ain't going to lie to you, man. I ain't going to lie to you. And then he's going to get hit by this move. Hopefully he, does, he, hopefully he avoids this and sees it coming. Sadly, he didn't. You hate to see it. He went into false courage. I saw that as an opportunity because he's locked into a, a singular frame of animation. I do that after most times because I want to see if I can get him with that. Now then, next character he's got is Janimba. Janimba is another giant character. So I'm going to show you how I deal with giants on the most part and on a technical scale. I usually rock off with this. Start off with that beam technique. That beam technique is usually how I operate. He's going to get me with that. He's going to hit me with some nonsense. I usually try to get him away from me. Now, Janimba is a bit of a more difficult giant to deal with because he and himself is huge and has a belly flop move. He's going to be a bit more technically a different giant to deal with. Hopefully, I can get him with some nonsense. And I got him down like that. Boom. Hit him with a repeat like that. Got him there. He's going to rush me. He's doing great. I love to see it. And he's hit me with a down move like that. He teleported, and then we get Master Roshi in here. Now, this is the big reason why I love Master Roshi. I'm going to go into After Image Strike because of this move right here. This move right here is an unblockable, so he's going to be stuck with this for a second. I'm stuck in After Image Strike, so he's going to be forced to try to grab me. But sadly, he's not going to be able to get out of this. This is how you deal with Giants. This is a great way to deal with Giants. Master Roshi is a technical, habitual giant killer. He's under me. He's getting hit by this again. He's stuck right now. Master Roshi is a great way to deal with Giants. If you're looking for a way to deal with Giants, this is a great way to deal with it. Obviously, he's going to try to grab. That's amazing for him. Sadly, he doesn't have that much time. He's getting hit by this again. Bada bing, bada boom. He got striked by it again. Now he's going to try to hit me with some nonsense. I'm getting the Dr. Wheelow, and that's going to be messy for him. He's going to hit me with this. Look at him go. Oh, that's amazing. You hate to see it. We're going to hit him with this right here. Boom. And he's probably messed up. This is why having a well-balanced team against spamming people like that is good. I want to point that out. This is a real team. This is what I usually run. And I'm hopefully going to be able to take out Janimba. Boom. 
and that's how you operate that's how you get past a giant character and he's running master roshi oh this might be his last character besides Herkyo, i believe i believe he ran two fives which were the vegeta and janimba which is two giants which is good and then he had kid goku which is after image strike and he had master roshi which is after image strike as well but this master roshi starts off with less bars so i don't recommend going against this master roshi hopefully he learns the lesson that i taught him when it comes to using master roshi and using that after with using the after image strike or using the thundershock surprise sadly i don't think he did waiting for him to come is a great move as well just to get that perception blast out the way learning how to do the sonic sway at the exact timing is also very important and i'm going to try to take him out within these last seconds i doubt i can he's probably going to weave this he didn't weave it you hate to see it I love this guy because he's showing all the fundamentals of how to go against giants, how to go against things, how to go against other people. A character, a person that picked basically the same team as I did, and he's doing that that bad. And I'm proud of him for that. And he stayed the entire way through. That's all I have to say. Please practice with Piccolo. I'm proud of you. Thank you for playing the game. Hopefully you guys get better. I'll be streaming later, hopefully. I'm trying to stream as much as possible. I'm happy you guys come by for the streams. Have a lovely day or night wherever you are. I'm out. Peace. Bye.